Friday afternoon, January 7th, a week after the start of this new year. And I'm in my studio. Uh, I should be cleaning. That has been on my priority list all week long. And here it is Friday and I have not cleaned my studio. And I want to get that done. It'll probably be a weekend project so I can get back to painting next week. Um, but I've kind of uh, finished up 2021 and just kind of slid out and am gliding into 2022 and taking it slow and doing things a little bit more intentional and not so crazy. I got to get it done. I got to get it done now. So, um, so here I am. I'm not cleaning my studio. Instead, I'm on a video with you guys. But I wanted to share a quick little thing, not earth shattering, not innovative or anything that you probably haven't done before. But one of the things I did do over the holidays, which I really, really enjoyed, um, is I made journals. I made journals as gifts for family and friends. And um, we all are looking for journals right now, or a lot of us are, uh, because we want to take note of where we've been, um, a great idea that comes up, a sketch that, that we um, we want to remember, we want to add into our work, or just your thoughts of the day. And um, you can find a lot of journals on Amazon that are really pretty um, and really wonderful, or you can make your own. So I went on Amazon and bought blank journals, and um, I'll go more into that in the video when it gets started. But I just wanted to share with you that these are really fun. And I kind of continued on with, if you remember, I was working on my Remnants series at the end of, of the year, going into the holidays. And I made these with just all the scraps and bits and pieces that I had on my work table and in my, my scrap bin. And I was able to personalize them um, with the things that I added in, not necessarily words or names, but the things I added in, I personalized them to the people that I was gifting them to. And it was really fun. It was really um, relaxing. It was nice to clean all the bits and pieces off my table. And uh, it was just fun. So uh, I'm gonna share that with you in the video. I'm also in the description, I'll give you the link to the Amazon where I got the journals and the type of journals that I use. And I'll put anything else there that I think you might need. And um, always ways to get in touch with me. So you can um, visit my website, you can see me on Instagram, or you can email me. Um, any of those, any and all of those things will be in the description. So let me get started with turning this on. And um, I've already made the videos. I did them while I was working on the projects, which is so not me being that organized, but it worked out really great. So while you're watching these videos, hopefully I'm cleaning my studio and I will see you again on the next video. So enjoy. Okay, so here we go, we're on my table, and these are the journals that I'm working with. And I actually found these really great little uh, journals on Amazon, in which of course I'll put the description below. Um, I got these with blank pages. They also come with gridded pages, lined pages, and you know, the gridded pages that are just done with dotted lines, which I like a lot. Um, but I just got the plain, um, plain page journals. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything with the pages, I don't think. Uh, I'm just doing the covers. And I got two different, two different types of journal. This one, they both have uh, the cardboard, the brown paper bag um, type cover on them. This one is a little bit thinner. Um, and I think I got 12 of these. Yeah, 12 of these little spiral. And these are thinner. And then I also got six of them with a hard cover. So this hard cover is uh, much harder. Seems to be there might be more pages in these. And I got five of these. Um, and they came in a, in a, I believe these came in a pack of five. The other ones definitely came in a pack of 12. So I'm going to be working with the hardcover ones for now, just to get my start. 
Um, I'm using extra heavy gel mat medium. Uh, and the reason I'm using the extra heavy is it has less water in it. Um, it's a heavier gel and that way I have a little bit less moisture in the papers that I might la may lay down. So I'll have, have less uh, buckling and wrinkling. Um, you know, scissors, uh, my little scraper to make sure everything does lay down flat. And then I have a, um, you know, I have a selection of papers I've already pulled. And I also have a bin that I have different, you know, scraps from my work table. I never really throw those away. I, I keep all those little scraps laying around for something just like this. Um, and I have, let's see, I've got a couple of really cool little books. The Giant Hairball. This has some fun uh, type and photos in it. As a matter of fact, this is a journal that I've already started creating uh, for myself. And I've gone on in this one and I've used gesso and whited out areas or blacked out areas that I can work on, leaving some of the text showing through. So this is another way to do a journal. This isn't what we're doing today, but I forgot I had that. That's pretty fun. So I just keep a selection, um, 101 things to, uh, to learn in art school. And these are really great for uh, pulling out little pictures. I love the numbers um, and the large text. So I use that book. You know, just little things I can keep in this little box. So this is kind of a cool book. Wow, where did I get that? I may not be able to tear that one apart. But um, in any case, Fun stuff. Oh, I got this one at a used book sale because I love the 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 type uh, the um, text here and also the numbers. And so anyway, that's my my little collection of things I'll be working with. And um, to get my books ready, and I've already started working on on them. Each of them, I, I have uh, a start on the inside front page. Let's see. Um, let me get these guys out of my way. And we'll work on this one. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do first? So I'm going to do the inside of the covers and the outside of the cover. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I take a piece of wax paper, wax paper or parchment paper, and I'm gonna want to lay that in between so that when I'm gluing here, I don't get it. The glue doesn't seep through to the other cover and they end up sticking together. I'm not too worried about my paper, my pages over here, because with those, um, if I mess up this front piece of paper, I'll just rip it off. And, and I'm using um, a brush. It's not too soft. It's a little bristly because this medium is um, a little harder, uh, uh, thicker to work with. So if you're using a soft brush, it's not going to, um, it's gonna be a bit, little bit harder to dig that out, to dig that medium out of there. Now, I'm also trying to avoid the, the spirals as I go. Let's see, what do I want to put here? I have no real plan. At this point, I just want to lay some things down. It's kind of nice to have this straight edge line here on the side near the spirals. So it looks like uh, a nice clean edge. It is a nice clean edge. And if I go off the edge of my, my page, that's fine. Um, I can also cut this because I can come back later and trim it. 
trim those at pieces that come off the edge. Now, as I said, because I'm using heavy gel medium, not as much water in it, and, and my paper's laid down much nicer without buckling. I'm gonna try to keep my paper somewhat organized. That's kind of a fun color. Again, not too concerned if um, things line up perfectly or not. Now this piece of paper right here is buckling a little bit. But I'm able to work that out. This is a napkin. Just a little cocktail mat napkin. But I every once in a while you find them with just a really nice little print on it. And they lay down really nice. Okay, so let me leave that alone. I'm gonna take another piece of wax paper and put it here so I can open this up or close it in this case and come over to my, this is the front cover. I like this. Somewhere in here, I have a ruler. Here we go. This is tissue paper with some little blackbirds that I, I um, stenciled onto it. And then tissue papers lay down really nice. And once that dries, that'll lighten up a little bit. I'm gonna add another piece of this to the front, maybe in a different way. Some nice little uh, 
script here. Really like this. That's a little bit too much in the center. I'm going to try to keep these four journals um, looking a little bit different, doing them all together, but keeping them a little bit different. They all have this piece of um, uh, paper with the pink paint, which was something I used to clean off one of my paintings. And, um, and they'll have some elements, probably black and white in each one of them, but I'd like to make them little, look a little different, each one a little different because they're for different friends of mine and I want them each to feel um, like I put some effort into it and made it special for them because that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking of each of the artists as I work on it and things that they may like and what they may respond to. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and work on these and hopefully you can um, watch along or check in and check out um, however you're comfortable with but um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do
And once I've got most of my papers on there, on the, the journals, I can go in and start adding little items that are personal to each of the people that are going to receive that journal. So it might not mean anything to anybody else, but it's kind of a cool little thing that they'll look at and identify with it and be able to call this journal their own without actually writing their name or actually putting text on it. Um, I think it, it's just nice to personalize it. Okay, so there you go. Um, quick, easy, free form. You can just do it and enjoy the time in your studio, enjoy the time at your kitchen table, uh, wherever you have that you can work on it. It's a really easy and fun project to do. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I use my journals all the time, love them. Love that they're personalized and nobody else has one like it. And uh, I hope that you like it too and you give it a chance, give it a try. It'll be fun. And uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.